Hi, I'm Steve and welcome to the Dice Cup. Today I'm going to show you how to play a game called Battle Sheep. It's a game that plays between 2 to 4 players and takes about 10 to 15 minutes. In Battle Sheep, each player is going to get 16 ceramic discs with sheeps of their colour on, so the white player is going to get 16, black, blue and red, and each player is going to get four of these tiles which represent the pastures that we're going to be playing on. I'm going to set it up for a three player game, so I'm going to say red's not in play here, and what would happen is that blue, black and white would each get four of these each and they would take it in turns to set up a pasture on the board. White might place one here, and when it's black's turn to place, he could place one adjacent to any side that's already currently down on the board. So black might do that, blue might do this, white might do this, and you do that until all the, pl all the pastures are out on the board. There are allowed to be gaps, so on black's next turn, black could do this, and it would leave a gap in the middle there, and you keep doing that until all, uh, in this case, 12 pastures are out. So this is the example game we're going to play with. As you can see, every game of Battleship will be different. It's very unlikely that you're going to get exactly the same board as before. And what you're going to do, starting with a start player, is they're going to place the entire stack of their sheep on one uh, hex that's bordering the edge of the board. So you wouldn't be able to start here, but you would be able to start here, or here, or here, or anywhere around the edge. Let's say white placed theirs here. On Blackstone, there is no reason that black can't play either side of white, but you kind of want to stay away from other people because they're going to start blocking you in. So black might place theirs here, and blue might place theirs here. A turn in battle sheep is going to work like this. If it's white's go, white may take as many of their stack as they want as long as they leave at least one behind, and they move them as far as they can in a particular direction. So white could say, take this many sheep here, and move them to this square, or this square, or this square, as far as they can in a direction, but they could take all but one, or they could take as few as one. As long as they're moving at least one, and leaving at least one behind, they could do that. So let's say white goes here, moves some of their sheep there, black might do that, blue might do that, and the idea in battle sheep is you're trying to get as many of your sheep out as possible. In this particular example, white's currently got two sheep out because there are two visible sheep. But every move white makes, they're getting an extra sheep out. So you're going to try and uh, envelop as much of the board as you can with your moving sheep um, without getting blocked in. I'm going to speed up the gameplay so you can see what happens towards the end of the game and what's gone on, um, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So this is the end of a game of Battle Sheep. There are no more possible moves for any player. Black's got a big stack here that he's uh, left stranded, and blue and white have got several here. And you just count how many visible sheep you have. In this case, white has 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, and I think blue has 15 too, whereas black got stuck here, so black only has 12. Whoever has the most visible sheep is the winner, in this case it's a tie between blue and white, but as you're playing the game you're trying to block off a fence in as much, much pasture as possible so that your opponents get stuck with stacks like this and then you've got plenty of space to move into towards the end of the game. In respect, it's a bit like, hey, that's my fish. Slightly different that the board doesn't shrink away as you're playing, um, and you're not just trying to get the number of fish you're getting, you're just trying to get as many sheep out as, as possible. It plays between two to four, but I think it works best with three to four. With a two-player game, you can kind of pre-predict exactly how you're going to go from certain situations, and it's probably not as fun and not as unexpected when you suddenly get blocked in by two people working against you. If Battle Sheep takes your fancy, come down to the Dice Cup and give it a go. We're open every day from 10 till late. I've been Steve from the Dice Cup. Thank you very much.